This is by BC Greenhouses and they are a wonderful company. They helped us every step of the way. Their builders there were on the line with me and Mark, guiding us through if we had any questions. Um, just so super helpful. The whole greenhouse is glass, by the way. I've had a couple people ask me if it was, uh, you know, polycarbonate or glass, and it is a glass house. Um, but I'm just so happy with it. I have some baskets of dahlias and plants. I just kind of pushed along the side here while we're retweaking. You can see I've got drip irrigation and some things still need to be done. I need to redefine the border and really kind of make it all look good. This is the park side. I'm not sure that I said that. This is the park side and it's eight by 10. Eight by 10 interior, so the exterior dimensions are slightly larger. It's right about the size that my potting shed was, but the pitch obviously is higher than the pitch that was on my potting shed. And the pitch also matches that of the now shed. This is our shed now and what I use as a shed. So I thought that was really important to have the same kind of pitch and, um, have them look like they are you know, kind of connected style-wise. I have some boxwoods I'm gonna plant here. They're just sitting in the pots right now and in, inside of the nursery cans, but I'm so excited. Welcome to the greenhouse, you guys. I was just in here straightening up a little bit. I already have some plants in. I love lighting and it's so important to me to have really, really nice lighting. So this is all electric plug-in. Um, I try and get a little handy with setting up electric. So, you know, I'm always trying for that. I was able to bring in one of my little desk lamps I've had for so many years, but I think the view with the rain coming down and looking through the side window here. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. Um, Mark installed these floating shelves. What's nice about this greenhouse is there's a track system in here where you can slide in bolts and attach anything you want. So he hung up these shelves for me last weekend. And I also have some little eye bolts that can go into the top of the um into the top of the rafters here and be able to hang hanging baskets uh any kind of plants or anything i want so still have a little bit more i want to work on there but for right now i have you know a good collection of my pottery in here my wakefield handmade you know i love peter's work and some row pottery i also collect the salt glaze and as for plants, I have a little rosemary here. This is a phenomenal fig. So it's a tabletop fig. It's, a, it's, it's very, very small. I have two of those. Um, and what else? Some herbs. This is a little geranium. I did just pick the flower off. One I grew from seed and a little basil plant. Um, let's see. This is gem box that I'm trying to keep as little topiaries. I think they're very cute. And I've got some of my tomatoes I brought in here too. The tomatoes are looking so-so. Mm, they were looking kind of shabby out in the vegetable garden and they're looking a little bit better now that I have them in here. So I have a few varieties in here. It'll be so nice. Um, I have some Meyer lemons and uh, you know the figs and things. And I really want to start to incorporate more citrus um, in the winter time, it'll be so nice and toasty. I do have a legit greenhouse heater that I'll be setting up in the winter time. Uh, when it's the evening time, it looks so pretty with the lights. You know what? I'm going to come back out here in the evening just so you can see what it looks like all lit up at night. I have a little strawberry here. And it's just really everything that I had hoped for. And then some, it'll be so nice to come out here at the workbenches. Those are also from BC Greenhouse. You know, as far as pricing goes, I definitely encourage you to go to their website because I have custom options here, like this back vent and some things that differ uh, from what you might want. Uh, this Parkside model actually comes stock in black. 
So if you wanted white or if they have a green color as well, you would have to ask them, you know, the pricing for that, but they have a build your own greenhouse feature where you can select options that you like. And there's more options than just the park side. So many choices and so many options. So, um, I, so I definitely encourage you to head over to their website. They have a live chat there where I really found that to be useful. And I talked to a lot of the staff there and asked them many questions. They are just so accommodating and will help you in any way. So I'm really, really happy with these cedar benches. They look beautiful and it'll be so functional and fantastic when I have the, uh, when I do some of my seed starting in here. So that's it, you guys. I don't want to go on too, too long, but you can tell I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to plant around the perimeter, even outside of the greenhouse. I have some hostas and things out here on the side that I'm ready to get planting. I'm really getting rained on right now, but I will do a little video showing what it looks like lit up at night so you can see, but it was totally worth the effort, totally worth taking up the summer uh, for this project, and I just couldn't be happier with it. And I can't wait to keep you guys posted on everything that I plant here and the garden as it evolves and changes around. 